What is going on guys, Sonic and the Beam Show here. Today we are looking at the brand new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem figures by Playmates Toys. So I did a video on these guys before when they were showing off at the Playday event in New York City. And I gotta say, I was pretty excited for these. I really like the animation style in this movie along with the cast they got behind it. And I'm also really looking forward to this film as well. So once I spotted these guys, I knew I definitely had to pick these up and add them to the collection. So let's take a look at their package in here. We're gonna take a look at Leonardo first so here's Leonardo's packaging right here you can see at all basically all four of these guys is getting like a weapon rack and then they kind of get like their own sort of turtle here which I'm guessing it's supposed to be them when you know when they're like young but you can see uh, Leonardo's getting like his katanas right there you got like his name the leader they all got kind of got like their own sort of thing labeled here but four plus playmates toys I really like the the graphic art behind here you got the logo up there Nickelodeon and then you can see like the graphic art on like this purple brick wall and then like some slime coming out of it You got Leonardo right there your warnings. There's the bottom right there with the barcode And then the side right there And then the back you can't see all the other characters to collect in the set We actually get like a, a bow read up here got the logo Nickelodeon they kind of get like these cards um, I think just all of these guys are gonna get like a card so I guess like once you open this, you kind of just cut this out and you can like collect their cards. But you know, you got like some other licensed Nickelodeon movies, Paramount. And that's pretty much that. Here's Raphael. Now Raphael is actually my favorite. He was always just my favorite turtle. You can not see Raphael getting all of his accessories here. And then we kind of get Raph right here. Oh, the angry one. That's what they, uh, they got him as here. But here's the back. There's his card. I think they're all getting the same bio read up here, so kind of getting that. But that's Raphael. Here's Michelangelo. I've actually noticed that. Uh... Oh wait, no, never mind. I thought for a split second some of the art was different, but they are actually the same. You got Mikey right there. There's the back right here, and then there's Michelangelo's card. And then finally, we move on to Donatello. And then here's the back. Man, I keep forgetting about these labels. So you got the brains, the entertainer, the angry one, and then you got the leader. So anyway, guys, that right there is the four turtles packaging right there. So without further ado, let's go ahead and crack these guys out of their packaging and take a closer look. All right, so here's the turtles out of their packaging, and I'm definitely digging these a whole lot here. There's some things that I like about them, but there's some that I don't, which we will get into. But I was feeling very nostalgic opening these because I remember opening a bunch of like Playmates turtles back in the day. So I guess like when I was opening these, it felt like I was opening a lot of like turtles, Playmates toys, like on Christmas Day or whatever. But I'm also liking these, so that's probably another reason why I'm, I was kind of feeling that way. But we are going to get into them in a bit. So we're just going to like go over their, you know, their aesthetics and then articulation and then the rest of their accessories. But you can see some different sizes with these turtles. Like you can see like Raph is the biggest here. You know, Donnie's a bit more taller than the rest of them. Mikey's the shortest. So there's definitely like some different uh, sizes with these guys. They're not all like the same mold here. And then you can see how like Mikey is like a darker green compared to them. So there's some different things going on with the turtles, which I do like. But let's actually go over Leonardo right here. So Leo's actually looking pretty nice right here. So you can see like his little throwing stars here on his belt. You got the L right there, then the, the strap. You can see his katanas. Now the way how the katanas were packaged, um, or like how they were placed in the package, uh, mine was a little warped. So uh, just keep that in mind. They probably will be a little warped, but so far I was able to uh, get that fixed right there. But they don't look too bad. You know, they don't look too bad anymore, but I did try to uh, fix that up a bit. But so far, uh, Leo looks pretty good. You got like his knee pads, his elbow pads, you know. And then there is some details on their shells. You're going to like see it on all their shells, really. But I actually like it so far, except that you got like some copyright here on the, the belt. But, you know, it is what it is. I think I do like Leo so far. Next up, we have my favorite right here, which is Raphael. Now, his design uh, in the headband is a little different than the rest of them. He kind of has like a, I don't know, I guess it's like a, a do-rag or something, but it's covering like the top of his head right here. 
but uh, I mean, I mean, it's whatever, I guess. But I, I guess it's just the design here they wanted to chose here for the movie, so it's whatever. But he does have like the scar right here to his chest, and you can see like I got like his size here on the holster, which I got both of their weapons there on their holsters. But you can see the R, RAF. You got like his pouch right here. Same old, same old with the elbow pads and knee pads. Here's the back. Again, some details here with the shell. Uh, here is Michelangelo. Uh, the face is okay for Mikey. I know Mikey's like usually the goofy one, but I don't know. The face here, uh, it looks a little, I don't know. I do think there's a little bit too much like outlining with the mouth here, you know. And I know like Mikey wears uh, braces in his movie, and I'm sure it was a little too hard to try to, you know, kind of get that done here, the way how the mouth sculpt is. Um, or like how it's painted really too, but um, I don't know. I think there's a bit too much of like black lines going between the mouth that looks a little weird, but uh, I don't know. Maybe you guys probably are a fan of it. Me, I'm not really, but you can see the rest of Mikey right here, and then you do got like his nunchucks um, on the holsters here. Now, it looks a little weird because I'm not really a fan of the way how the chains are. They look a little too thick, so I kind of like have it like this to make it look like it's, you know, hanging all right, so here is Donatello right here. Now, I actually like Donnie. I like him. So he got like, you know, glasses right here. You got like a phone on his pouch right here. And then he comes with like these headphones, which is really nice. You got like his staff here. I think Donnie actually looks pretty good. I'm actually a fan of Donatello right here. This figure actually looks really nice. So the uh, this whole uh, strap right here for uh, the pouch, uh, this is actually on the figure. You can't really remove that. You can't really remove the phone either. But the glasses you can actually take off if you want. As you can see, you can't take the glasses off. Now, there are peg holes right here for the glasses. And then the glasses is right here. They have like these uh these holes right or these pegs right here that you can uh plug onto. And then the headphones, you can somewhat try to well, let me just try to get it off of his uh his hands right here. But the headphones, it's a bit tricky because the way how the shell is, uh, it's going to be a little tough trying to get the headphones wrapping around his, uh, hold the glasses, let me just take those off. But it's going to be a bit tricky trying to get the headphones uh, around his uh, his neck. But you can see how it is, it looks okay from this angle. Um, and even if you kind of leave it like that, it is going to warp like that for a while. But the way how it looks from here, you know, there is like, you know, there's still some space around it, which doesn't look the best. And then, you know, the the, uh, the ties right here are going to get in the way of that. Or not like in the way, but they're going to, uh, they're going to be like put right here uh, through the headphones. But, I mean, you know, it is up to you if you want to do that. And if you want to like make it look like he's listening to music or whatever like that, uh, it's also going to be a bit tricky trying to put that on his head as you can see I can't even really seem to get it on his head like it just doesn't want to stay on there this is probably the best you're gonna do but it's gonna slide off so uh, that's probably uh, the one thing that sucks right there is trying to have the headphones on but um, I'm trying to get these glasses back there all right yeah but yeah that's probably like my only gripe right there is with the headphones. But I think uh, overall Donnie actually looks pretty cool. Uh, another thing that is pretty annoying about these figures. Uh, you'll probably see me doing this a little bit in the background. But uh, I'm having trouble trying to get these guys to st the, uh, stand at times. They are a little back heavy. Uh, you are going to mess around with the feet. Like Donnie is he wants to fall back but I have to move his feet a little bit. I have to do that with a lot of them. Which is a bit tough. Now, for articulation, I don't really need to go over all the articulation. We could just start with one. So, let's do Leonardo. So, their heads is really just on a big ball peg. So, you can kind of get some sort of movement out of that. But you're really just going to be getting some turning. So, it's really just a swivel. It's not much to really look up or down. Or like any tilts right there. You know, you get like some tilts. But you're really just going to be uh, turning at the head. You get a hinge at the shoulder which goes about over horizontal which is actually pretty good uh, for rotation to the arms but to turn all the way around you know make sure you go outward a little bit for the shell as you can see they just fell over 
Uh, you got your single jointed elbows, which is pretty decent. That's all right. You get your swivel to the wrist. There is no hinge though for the wrist. It's really just a swivel. Nothing going on to the torso. Leo can kick forward about here, which isn't too bad. I do wish this part was a little like more soft, like this plastic, because I feel like they probably could have kicked a little bit higher, but I think it's all right for right now. Uh, for back, not so much due to the shell right here. Single jointed knees. Mm, not, not the best really, but for the feet, you're really just getting a swivel and then that's about it. It's no rock or anything. Um, it's pretty much that. Of course, you can swivel the leg and then you can kind of, yeah, you can swivel like the shin too. But that's pretty much about it. Um, they're really just on a fixed hinge. So if you want to make them do a split, you are going to have to like turn the leg if you want to uh, try to do, if I want to do a pose or something. But I don't know, try to do a pose where if you want to do like a jumping stance or Leo's about to jump on someone or try to do a kick. If I put the knees like that, it's probably the best I can do. I don't know. Just working with the articulation I can do with these guys. But what's really cool though, is what I like is that you can have it to make it look like Leo is about to pull his katanas out. As you can see, that actually looks really cool. And this would actually be pretty good for stop motion. Because look at that. And I do like that. That's really cool. And then for Raph, I know he usually like uh, pull, pull his sides out from... Uh, from when he like crossed his arms a little bit but you're not going to really be able to get that done as you can see the elbows can only go about here so that's going to be a bit tricky so you are going to have to just take these off on your own unfortunately and then for mikey it's going to be a bit tough but it, uh i mean this is probably you have to do something like this it's going to be a little tough all right, so here's how they all look holding their weapons and they do hold them up pretty well. Now, Mikey, I did something different with him. I made him hold uh, the nunchucks like this uh, just to not make it look a little too weird with the chains hanging. But I thought like posing him like this is okay. You can still pose him if you want to have the nunchucks, uh, you know, sort of out like this. You know, like he's like he just kind of took the nunchucks out um, of his holster. But, you know, I don't know. Again, like I said, the chains are not really a fan of so i just kind of uh messed around and kind of make him look like he's uh holding onto them to his side now let's go over their accessories so they all come with like these small little turtles right here um so some of them get their own like i think this one is leonardo here is a uh, raf oh camera's not even focusing well but yeah here's leonardo this one is raf and then this one was Mikey. They all kind of just match their colors. And then this one right here was Donnie. So they all come with like these little turtles. So you are gonna get that. And then they come with like this weapon rack. So here is Leo. So you can see some weapons here. You know, you got like a pizza, there's like a throwing stars, it's a kunai. And I think you can actually take these apart. I'm not really going to do that because usually when I get stuff like this, I kind of just leave it as like a display stand because I do like these. But, you know, they don't really get like any paint or whatever. So, I'm, you know, that's why I kind of just like keep it like that. But this is for Leo. Here is Raph. You can see you get like some throwing stars, some pizza to the side. I can't really make out what the rest is, but I'm sure you guys probably can. So that's Raph. Here is Mikey, so you can see nunchucks, pizza, got this part right here, not too sure what that is. Um, and then here is uh, Donnie's right here. So you get this, but yeah, not too bad for the accessories. I mean, I know like these guys, I think they come in like, uh, there's like another pack with like April and i believe uh it's yeah it's bebop and you got like the, the the slime all over him because you can still get that pack and get all of these guys but i mainly just wanted the four so i wasn't crazy about that but also because i think the accessories are actually pretty cool 
All right, so now for a small comparison right here. So we're just gonna use Leonardo. So let me just get these guys out the way. But if you guys wanna know the scale of these guys, now these figures, they're only just about four and a half inches. So, you know, they're gonna be pretty small figures. But uh, let me actually get these katanas out of here. Let me get Leo situated right here. But I do wanna do some comparisons for Leonardo. So again, since they're really small figures, we'll use like another Playmates Toys Leo. So this guy came with the, uh, I think it was the Street Fighter uh, versus TMNT figure uh, pack or whatever. But you can see how that scales. And then we'll use like a, here's like the Lightning Collection Power Rangers Leonardo figure from Hasbro. Alright guys, that is going to wrap up this review on the Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutant Mayhem figures. Overall, I personally do like them. I mean, they are just small basic turtle figures, but for only 10 bucks and a movie that I'm looking forward to, I did enjoy myself here with these figures. I know they're mainly targeted to kids, like the articulation is very limited and they're not as detailed as other turtle figures, but for me... I thought they looked pretty fun and I do like the figures here so I'm glad to add this to the collection. I don't think I'm going to get the other characters but I'm still on and off on getting the turtle van. I'm hearing that's actually really good. And I think there's another one where like Raph comes with like a motorcycle. I think Leo does too so those I'm, I'm debating I'm still on and off about those. But that is going to do it here for this review so if you want to pick these guys up they are hitting target stores right now. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the review. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. And I will definitely catch you guys in the next video. Take care my friends.